All right, well, my name is Christina Strong, for those who don't know me. <laughs> I'm a video communication intern here at Amishu HR. And today I'm going to be talking about a project that I worked on as part of the Amishu Global Translational Scholars Initiative. Um, it focused on health communications. And so as I walk through the um, presentation, you'll be able to kind of follow along, follow along with some of the stuff in the binder, because it's kind of broken down to the same sections as in the presentation. So background. So the project that um, I was working on, um, which is titled Employing the Use of Multimedia and Improving Health Communication Strategies, was conceived in 2013. Um, I wanted to do a project that focused on communications because that is my job role here as an intern. And I thought health communications would be interesting because, I mean, that's a lot of what people are focusing on with ACA. And, you know, health is a big thing right now. <laughs> so, um, again, the project was developed as part of the Michigan Global Initiative. And um, it was, again, it created to enhance my work experience here. And so that's the reason I focus on health communication. So my project mission or uh, goal was to create health care videos from a benefits perspective for the MSU community um, that came from MSU Human Resources and aligned with the desired function of that form organization. As you know, HR is currently in a uh, stage of transformation. And so we want to streamline the processes and create, you know, initiatives or programs or things that will help HR to stand out as a place for MSU employees on campus. So I did a survey of benefits-related staff, so people in total compensation wellness and the Solutions Center. So the survey was sent to 23 staff members in the Solutions Center um, and total compensation wellness. Out of that, I got a response of 14 people, so N equals 14. Um, my results were to try to discover what specific area of benefits um, from actual benefits-related staff themselves could use the creation of multimedia tools. And it was discovered that retirement was a topic that most of them considered benefits could use multimedia tools in. So the survey captured different questions, asked different questions like how long did you work at HR, what focus area do you work on most, what's your comfort level asking or answering benefits questions. And um, so some of the highlights from the survey was the majority of staff that answered worked at a uh, work at industry HR and benefits related customer service for three to five years. Um, and a majority of them, five years? three to five, three, three to five, five years, <laughs> <laughs> they are here for three to five, <laughs> um, three to five years, um, a majority of the staff members felt comfortable answering benefits questions, um, 57% 57, 57 felt very comfortable, 21% felt slightly, a little over 21 felt uncomfortable, and then zero was not familiar. So I also had them rank and order their um, communication tools um, and how what they would say was the most effective from their perspective. So number one was face-to-face -face meetings, number two was phone calls, number three was emails, presentation orientations, website, and then brochures. And actually in the binder two, um, the health communication report section has an actual full like report that I wrote about the entire thing. In health communication project notes, again, this portion was just a matter of me recording what I had done over the the process, whether the, the mishaps, the, the good, the redoing, the re -ed the edits, all of that stuff was listed in notes so that when we'll practice go back if I ever wanted to and say how did this process work, exactly what did I do, how did I get where I got, or if someone wanted to duplicate it or even continue the project further along after, after I leave. So health communications project video. So the video was created from information available on the benefits section of the HR website. Um, because of my limited time frame, and not me going to go into a full-time position, <laughs> I wanted to do videos that were a little more in-depth after talking to people, but I didn't have as much time as I would like. So I did take information that I was able to find. Um, it's a sheet called Thinking of Retirement, Thinking of Retirement for MSU, and it's broken down to three sections. It's three to seven years, one to two years, and three to six months. So the videos were intended to be like part one, part two, and part three, but I did just part one, which would be the three to seven year section. And the goal of videos, the actual main goal, is to take really complicated information and to make it so that it's simple for people to understand. But another uh, useful tool for creating the videos is to take information that seems long and a whole bunch of text and hopefully engaging people to get them to want to go read more about what it is that they should be reading about, otherwise just looking at a long sheet of paper. Thank you. 
Um, so are there any 